Hello, my name is Ash. I'm a bioinformatics systems analyst at the Genomics Institute, which is connected to the University of California at Santa Cruz and a member of the Anvil Project. The Anvil Project is an initiative to connect multiple different cloud-based platforms, streamlining scientific analysis and making it more interoperable and accessible. As a demonstration of that interoperability, I'll be going through the process of finding and running a bioinformatics workflow on the cloud, starting with DocStore and ending in Terra. DocStore, which is a joint project between UC Santa Cruz and the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research, is a catalog of bioinformatics workflows that can be launched in multiple compute environments, including the Anvil. Workflows are a chain of programs or scripts that allow for processing data across several steps. To demonstrate, we can either click this link from the Anvil Project homepage, or go through the overview page like so. Now we have arrived at DocStore, the home of hundreds of workflows. But today, we'll be focusing only on workflows shared in the Organizations and Collections feature on DocStore. Anvil has an organization on DocStore that contains several different collections for different analyses. These collections all contain workflows written in the Workflow Description Language, also known as Whittle, which is compatible with the Terra Compute environment. Let's go for this workflow. On the subpage of the collection page, we can see more information about the pipeline. I won't go over the entire thing in the interest of time, but this is a pipeline for running QC on human whole genome, exome, or targeted sequences. On the Information tab, we have an overview of the workflow. At the top, we can see a link to the source code of the pipeline. In this case, it's hosted on GitHub. If we want a preview of the Whittle prior to importing it, we can click on the Files tab. Here, you can see how this workflow describes inputs and outputs of individual workflow tasks, and the order in which these tasks are executed. If you would like to know more about how Whittles are constructed, we have plenty of documentation on this topic. If we click on the Test Parameter Files tab within this file section, we are taken to a JSON file. When working with Whittles, you generally use a JSON file to specify the inputs and settings for a workflow. For instance, the first line of this JSON specifies a particular BAM file located at a particular Google Cloud storage link. You will need a Google Cloud account and billing project to access most Google Cloud files. In DocStore, the JSON files specify example inputs for workflows. This means you can use it as a template or even a complete test case without having to set up a configuration file yourself. This JSON is what we will use to run this workflow on Terra, Anvil's compute platform. With that in mind, let's head on over to Terra. On the right side of the screen, you will see a button allowing you to launch with Anvil. This button will appear on any workflow written in workflow description language that is hosted on DocStore. One thing we would like to clarify is that clicking the Terra button located just above the Anvil button will also import the workflow into Terra, but it'll be the non-Anvil instance of Terra. We'll be importing into a fresh workspace, but you can also import into one you have created earlier. Note that I am selecting a billing project for this new workspace. This billing project will be automatically used to access the Google Cloud storage links that I mentioned earlier. Once within the Terra ecosystem, we are already taken to the Workflow tab, and we can see our workflow as it has been imported from DocStore. We will be using a JSON we downloaded from DocStore earlier to provide example inputs into our workflow. If your data is already inside Terra, it is not necessary to import a JSON like this, but it can still be a useful test case. Fields required by the workflow have been filled in automatically with the fields in the JSON file. All that is left to do is save and run the workflow. We're taken to a new page showing the progress of our workflow. This page will be updated once Google informs Terra of an update to the workflow progress. You can find out more about working with Widow workflows in Terra by reviewing the documentation linked in the text below.
let's recap our process. Starting from the Anvil homepage, we found the Anvil organization page on DocStore, selected a workflow from that organization, imported it into Terra, and ran the workflow using inputs specified in a test JSON file. We encourage you to also explore Terra's documentation on working with data already present in a workflow for full details on the flexibility of this system.